Blessings. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. You guys, blessings and good afternoon. Pardon my tardiness. Listen, I was... It's a whole deal, y'all. I was over here trying to... Um, There's been a change in my schedule, so... I was at, at work. Now I'm home. Hallelujah. And so that is why we are delayed. I was trying to get here so that we can go ahead and have this prayer. Come on, let's go ahead and hop in. It is 1227, so it's 1230. Typically, we are on this prayer around 1215. We're 15 minutes behind, but that is okay. We'll be right on time. Hallelujah. Come on, let's go ahead. If you are on this broadcast, if you can just let me know. Let me see if I see people in the comments. Um, if you could, just go ahead and share this broadcast. Um, Tag all of your friends, your single friends. Let them know that we are live. Hallelujah. Let me share this in our group. Let them know that they did not miss prayer on today. Hallelujah. I know I probably had people that were looking for me, but we are here. Hallelujah. We are here. Blessings on you, Michelle. Good to see you. Listen, we're going to be praying today. The prayer... Um. The title of this prayer is, May the angel of the Lord shut the mouth of every lion sent to hurt me. Hallelujah. I don't know if you guys have been feeling like you've been thrown into the lion's den. Come on, we got this from Daniel 6 and 22. This Daniel 6, when we're talking about um, Daniel, when he got thrown into the lion's den because of his... His commitment to serve God and God only. Hallelujah. The king began to see that Daniel was of excellency. And he began to see that he wanted to place Daniel over all of the kingdoms. Hallelujah. And then he had some haters. He had some people that were hating on him. That had the king begin to make a decree that say if, if anybody began to bow down and pray to any other God, to anybody except the king himself, shall be put to death by going into the lion's den. Hallelujah. And so I like to attribute that lion, that lion, anything that comes to devour you, come on, that wants to hurt you, any situation that you're in, any. People that's speaking against your destiny, speaking against your life, that's coming to hurt you. Hallelujah. So the prayer focus is going to be asking God to shut the mouth of those lions, hallelujah, um, in your life that seeks to devour, to attack, to harm you spiritually, emotionally, physically. Come on, relationally, of every area of our lives. I um, am avid of praying over every area of my life because I do understand that um, where the enemy likes to attack in one place, it like it, you you best believe every area of your life can be touched. So we want to cover each and every one of those areas of our lives, okay? Daniel 6 and 22 says, My God sent his angel and shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. Now, this is when Daniel became, began to tell after the king went back the next day to see if he was still alive. Because even when the king wrote that decree, he did not want to see Daniel dead. He did not want to see Daniel be devoured in that lion's den. Hallelujah. He couldn't even sleep that night. He went on a fast himself. And so he began to get up the next day running to the lion's den to see if Daniel was still alive to see if his God... He called, the, in the Bible says, the king said his God, meaning Daniel's God, was able to save him. Hallelujah. And I believe the Lord is going to shut the mouth of every lion that's sent against your life and your destiny. Those lions that come to attack you. Those lions which would be your finances. Those people that are talking about you. Come on, those situations where you feel like they're overtaking you. Like today, I begin to feel this sickness come upon me. My throat and my eyes and my nose began to bother me. And I'm like, no, it feels like, you know, come on. It felt like I was going to succumb to, to what that was, that feeling. No, that lion is a lie. The Lord sent his angel to shut every mouth of the lion that sent to hurt me. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to continue to serve God, to praise God, to worship God, no matter what's going on in my situation. Come on, begin to declare that I am going to continue to serve my God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. My God will deliver me from out of every situation and circumstance. I don't care how tight it feels. I don't care how bad it looks because I was called to walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. I don't care how hot the temperature get. We're talking about the lion's den. We understand that the Bible says that the devil roams around like a roaring lion. Come on. He's as he's pretending to be this big thing that can overtake you and devour you and attack you. But the devil is a liar. Come on. We are going to begin to pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We magnify you. Father, we lift your name on high. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. You are worthy. Father, you are worthy of all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. God, we magnify you. We magnify you. We make you bigger than our problems, bigger than our situations, bigger than our circumstances. Father, we magnify your holy name. You are holy God. You are just God. You are faithful. Come on, begin to declare to the Lord everything that he is. This is how you minister unto the Lord. This is how you break all of that depression off of you. Come on, depression can come in the form of a lion. You sitting and soaking in your bed, laying around, feeling like you can't move because that lion of the of depression is trying to attack you. We come against that now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are great and you are mighty and you are holy and you are faithful God and you are just God father we thank you for being perfect you are perfect in all of your ways you are a big God you are the one and only God you are saving God father we worship you hallelujah we come to worship you in spirit and in truth father in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, God, with our hearts full of gratitude. Come on. You got to come to God being grateful, being thankful. We don't come, oh God, empty-handed. We come with a sacrificial praise upon our lips. We come with our hearts postured before you, God. We are grateful. We are so grateful, Father. You are sovereign and mighty, and you're so faithful. You've been faithful to us when we have been faithless. Come on. When you have lost faith, God continue to re be faithful to you. When you turned your back on God, he continued to show up for you. He continued to hold on to you. He continued to keep take you by your hand and lead you out of the very situation. When you decided to change your mind on God, he did not change his mind about you. Father, you're faithful. You're just so faithful. We worship you. Lord, you are our protector. You are our deliverer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the power that you have to shut every lion's mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Every lion, every lying lion that seeks to deliver devour me. Father, I thank you that you're so big, that you're so mighty and you're so powerful to shut every mouth of every lion that come to devour me, that come to attack me in the mighty name of Jesus, just as you did for Daniel, Father. You are the same today, yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are God that does not change. You did it before. You can do it again. You are not a respecter of persons. Father, I thank you. For your mighty right hand, your mighty hand to save, your mighty hand to deliver. I thank you, God, and I give you all the glory for being my shield, for being my fortress, for being my protector, Father, for being the ever-present help in the time of trouble, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. We are going to begin to declare the word of the Lord over our lives, Father. We thank you for your angelic protection. We thank you, God. We are calling and commanding our angels to keep watch over us. We are commanding the angels, oh God. We are commanding an angelic in visitation, Father. We need angelic assistance for our problems, for our situations, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Send your angels, O oh God, to protect us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand on the promises, the promises that you have in your word, the promises of Daniel 6 and 22, Father. Just as you sent your angel to shut the mouth of the lion with, with, um, with Daniel in the, in the lion's den, Father, be Begin to shut every mouth of the lion, hallelujah, that comes to seek to devour us, Father. That, to, that comes to seek, oh Father, to, to uproot us in our faith, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every force, any enemy, any force, God, any demonic power, any spirit that's seeking to devour me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that you are silencing them now. You are shutting their mouths, God. You are causing their mouths to be closed in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for your angels that are encamped round about me. I thank you for your angels that are 
are guarding and protecting me. I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah, that you are protecting me from every attack, every plot, plan, and scheme of the enemy. I thank you, God, that I'm able to trust in your power. I thank you, Father, that I'm able to trust in your word. I thank you, God, that I'm able to trust in you. You are a God that does not lie. You cannot lie, Father. Hallelujah. You are God that continues to show up, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said in your word that you will command your angels, God, concerning me. You will put them on guard, Father. Hallelujah. To guard my ways in the mighty name of Jesus. You have angels that sent before me, God, to guard my very ways, to God, guard my thoughts, to guard my footsteps, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said in your word that they will lift me up. Hallelujah. And my foot will not dash against a stone. You said it in your word, God. Don't let my foot be struck against the stone, God. Don't let me strike my foot against the stone in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let me stumble over any entrapments of the enemy, Father. But cause your angels to keep me uprooted, uh, to keep me up, God. To keep me lifted up. To keep me safe and keep me protected, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep continuing, God, to guard my way. Continue, God, to guard my steps, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, let's begin to pray. Well, Father, we need your protection. We need your protection, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to shut, oh, Father, the mouths of every spiritual line that comes to attack my mind. Every line that comes to, to, to attack my mind and my thoughts, God, that come to attack my heart and my spirit, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Father, that my mind is sound and my mind is in you and my mind is the mind of Christ and I could submit my mind unto you father hallelujah that you are keeping my mind covered and you're keeping my heart secure in the mighty name of Jesus begin to shut the mouth of the lion God we come against every lie, every doubt. Come on, begin to speak against that every lie that the enemy has planted. Every doubt, every fear. Every anxiety that the enemy is trying to send my way. I come out of agreement with it. I don't agree with it, Father. You did not give me, hallelujah, the spirit of fear, but you've given me power, love, and a sound mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. I come into agreement with your word, God. Your word is what shut the mouth of the lion, God. I am not fearful, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I don't doubt, Father. When I doubt, help my unbelief, God. I don't want to doubt you. I take you at your word, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for silencing them. I thank you, Father, for silencing every demonic force that's speaking in my ears, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I understand the enemy to, the, to be the father of lies and so father I do not believe the lies of the enemy but I believe you at your word every word that you spoke over my life every word that you spoke into my life God every written word father in the mighty name of Jesus I believe you I declare that I will not be devoured by depression. I declare and decree that I am not oppressed, but I am encouraged and I am encouraged in the Lord. I am encouraged in your word, Father. I am encouraged because of who you are in my life. You are my Father. You are a good, good Father in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that your promises are yes and amen. I thank you for every promise that you spoke over my life, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God. That every voice that's speaking against my destiny is silenced, is brought to nothing. You put a muzzle over the mouth of the enemy, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, hallelujah, that I am not bound by fear and I am not bound by confusion. I understand that confusion comes from the enemy. I know my way is straight. You make my way straight, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you you father that I can trust and believe in you I thank you God that I can hold on to your unchanging hand I thank you father that you are silencing every enemy that has been caused and been shot against my destiny that's been caused to come against my purpose that has been caused to come against my finances that has come to come against my health father in the mighty name of Jesus 
I thank you that because I submit myself to you, you said in your word, submit myself to God. Hallelujah. And resist the devil and he must flee. I come to fully submitted, submitting my way to you, submitting my mind to you, submitting my body to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I submit myself to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist him, his temptations. I resist his, 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 his temptations, Father, in the the mighty name of Jesus. I, I resist his subjective communications, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't agree with the lies. Hallelujah. And so because I'm submitted to you, because I'm resisting the enemy, he must flee God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. For I'm thank you, God. Come on, let's begin to pray over our relationships. Come on, you're going to intercede for your relationships. Listen, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And every place that he wants to put doubt and place fear and begin to put discord in your relationships, we come against that now in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray a prayer of protection over our relationships, God. We ask you to silence any voice. Hallelujah. Any harmful voices of influence that tries to infiltrate our relationships in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, your familiar relationships, those relationships in your family, those relationships amongst friends. Come on, those relationships, God, your divine relationships that you are trying to bring us into divine alignment, God. Begin to silence the voice of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus that tries to come and pull the relationships apart, God. We lift up our relationships relationships to you father I pray that you shut the mouth of every lion seeking to devour peace in our relationships in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that you begin to do, shut the mouth of every lion that's caused that come oh God to to bring oh father and cause there to not be unity in our relationships father in the mighty name of Jesus if there's any voice God of strife and misunderstanding if there's any voice God of gossip in division that's coming against our relationships God we ask that you begin to silence them now in the mighty name of Jesus thank you for sending the angel of the Lord to silence the voice of the enemy God protect our relationships father from the enemy's attempts to sow discord in the mighty name of Jesus let your peace reign in our relationships let your your love reign in our relationships. Let harmony reign in our relationships, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it reign, God. Let it reign in our marriages, God. Let it reign in our families, God. Let it reign in our in our friendships, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that you are removing every toxic influence that hakasori abai that tried to come and break up our relationships, Father. That hakasori abai. Let your protection go. Guard our hearts and guard our minds and guard our mouths, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus against any relational attack. Come on, begin to cover your relationships. Father, I cover the parent-child relationship. I cover the sibling relationship, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to shut the mouth of the enemy. Let there not be discord, but let there be love and let there be unity and let there be togetherness, Father, in the mighty name of of Jesus in our communities God in our church communities God shut the mouth of the enemy that causes that come and try to sow discord that tries to sow discord God that tries to seek so that seed, oh Father, hallelujah, to disrupt what you have going on in our lives, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> We come against that gossiping spirit. Hallelujah. Let it not be named amongst us. Let it not be amongst our circles, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said in your word that a perverse person stirs up strife. Let us not be found perverse, God. Even as Daniel said in, his, in your word, God, that he was found blameless. He had no fault in him, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, send your angel to shut the mouth of every demonic force, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. We won't let gossip begin to separate close friends. But give them, oh God, give them the spirit of discernment to be able to discern the enemy and his works, God. You are all powerful. You are all knowing, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your spirit rest within relationships, God. Let there be understanding and peace. Let there be harmony, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. How many of you need to pray over your workplace? Come on, how many lions do you have over at your workplace that's talking about you behind your back, that's stirring up things on the job? Come on, that has your name in the middle of something. Father, we thank you that you're shutting the mouths of the lions even at our workplace, God, even in our career, Father, and in our ministries, Father. We thank you, hallelujah, that you're shutting the mouth of every demonic force. We pray for protection over our workplace. We pray for protection over our purpose. We pray for protection over hallelujah our careers and over our businesses father in the mighty name of Jesus begin to shut the mouth of every lion every lion tongue every back stop back biting tongue every backstabber God begin to shut their mouths God every person that has a, a, a spoken word curse upon their lips begin to shut their mouths God in the mighty name of Jesus everyone that's come against oh God that's trying to hinder my walk that's trying to hinder my calling that's trying to hinder my purpose that's trying to hinder my advancement we come against you now in the mighty name of Jesus be silent you are muzzled devil you are not allowed to speak bad against our name for the father has spoken well of us he's spoken good of us in the mighty name of Jesus only the things of God will prevail in the Dakakoria in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for protecting us from every opposition. I thank you, God, that you're protecting us from slander. I thank you, God, that you're protecting us from, from unfair treatment. I thank you, Father, hallelujah, that you are protecting us, God, that you are protecting us, Father, and you're silencing every false word. Let no weapon be formed against us. Hallelujah. You said that, that there's no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah, God, cause it to not prosper. Cause it to fall to the ground Cause it to wither up Cause it to not have any effect In the mighty name of Jesus I declare that every assignment of the enemy That's called to hinder my purpose That's called to hinder the plan of the Lord That's called, oh Father To hinder me from moving forward That it begin to shut down Begin to protect us God Protect us Father Protect us now in the mighty name of Jesus We're calling on you We need you for favor. We, we need you for mercy. We need you for grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause your blessings, God, to flow in every area of our lives. Cause your blessings, God, to flow over us. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit that you've placed us in, God, cause your glory to be revealed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Come on, the Bible says that it is your inheritance to refute that. It's your inheritance to condemn it. You can cast it down. You can talk bad about it. The devil is a liar. He have no say so over your life, over your purpose. Hallelujah. Don't let him hinder you any longer. Listen, the devil can't stop you from having anything that the Lord has already declared. He can cause you to hinder it. By your faith, by your belief, by you believing his lies. Come on, we, the Lord wants to get you in action. He needs you to move forward in the things that he's called you to do. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you that we're praying over our health. Come on, let's pray over our health. How many of you need God's divine intervention? You need an angel to shut the mouth of the devil. That lion that tries to tell you that your health is no good. Come on, whose report will you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe the report of the Lord. Come on, begin to come out of agreement with every, th every doctor's report. Every bad report that you've received concerning your health, whether it's high blood pressure, low blood pressure, sickle cell, whatever it is. Whatever it is. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, gout. Come on, whatever it is that the doctor's saying that you're suffering with, that you have to live with, the devil is a liar. Shut the mouth of the enemy. Shut the mouth of that lying, lying God. Hallelujah. That tries to scare us concerning our health. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, you don't have any issues with your female organs. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for your divine healing and your power. I thank you, Father, that you are shutting the mouth of every lying tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't agree with the doctor's report, but we agree with you. Come on, begin to command your spirit. Listen, you have to get it down in your spirit. You got to tell your soul to line up with the spirit of God. Because if you really don't believe what the word of God says, it's hard for the Lord to work something in your life. You have to come into agreement with the Lord by the spirit. If your soul is telling you the doctor said this and you want to believe that, you have to get your soul to come into agreement with what the spirit of the Lord says. Hallelujah. So you're going to get your mind Get your mind on track to come into what the spirit of the Lord is saying so that your soul comes into agreement with it. I know you may feel a little pain. I know you feel. That's okay. You begin to declare, I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we don't agree. Sickness is not our portion. You said healing is the children's bread. We are your children. And so, Father, every lying enemy that tries to get us to come into agreement with the senses of health issues, we don't agree with it. God begin to shut the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. That tries to seek our, our health. Protect us from sickness, God. Protect us from disease, Father. Protect us from any injuries, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, let no harmful thing come near my dwelling place. Let no harmful thing come near my body. Let no harmful thing come into my household. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your healing power flow through me. I ask that you protect every part of my body, God. Silence the lies of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am not in fear over my health because I understand that I am healthy and wealthy. I am an able body. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am healed by your stripes. In the name of Jesus, I am healed by your stripes. It is by your stripes. It is because of the blood. I am able to partake in total healing, total restoration, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to heal the minds and hearts of your people. Begin to heal their physical bodies. God. Begin to heal their blood cells, God. Begin to heal their veins, oh God. Begin to heal them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you that you are the one that's created their body so you know the way that it is supposed to function. I thank you that you are bringing everything into alignment and every artery is functioning the way that it's supposed to function. I thank you that you are the regulator of the blood. Begin to regulate their blood, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we have the DNA of Christ. There is no sickness that can dwell in our bodies because our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to declare that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost there's not anything that can stay here illegally come on begin to declare I am healed I am delivered I am set free I am healed from heartache I am healed from heartbreak come on I am healed my mind is healed my body is healed in the mighty name of Jesus I declare healing over my body in the mighty name of Jesus no physical ailments hallelujah God I thank you that I can shut the mouth of the enemy. I can shut the mouth of every lying report. I declare, hallelujah, that by your stripes I am healed. I stand on your promises, God. I stand on your promises. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that you send your word out to heal them, God. Those that are not able to get into the household of faith, God, we send your word out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We send your word out into the hospitals, God, for our, for our, for our sick loved ones, Father. Hallelujah. Come on. If you know somebody that's sick, if you know somebody that's on a bed, if you know somebody that needs healing, begin to declare that over their life right now in the name of Jesus. We send your word. Your word will not return into your void, God. Cause them to come into agreement and alignment with your word for their life, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. This is the last prayer point. We're going to pray over our finances. Hallelujah. 
Listen, now you can't be the lion that's trying to devour your finances. Come on. Now, this means that you need to be a great steward over your finances. So we're going to pray that every demonic attack over your finances be broken. That the, the angel of the Lord begin to shut the mouth of that lying demon that tries to tell you that you don't have enough. That tries to tell you that you are in lack. There is no lack in God. Hallelujah. Come on. If your finances been looking funny and the enemy keep trying to tell you that there's no way that there's more. Listen, my God owns the cattle of a thousand hills. The earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Hallelujah. So come on. You tell the devil to stop lying to you about your finances. He's trying to devour your finances. Listen, you are in you are walking by the grace of God. You make sure you're paying your tithes and offerings. You make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. You're being responsible with your finances. But it seems to be that there's something going on and you can't figure it out. Come on, we're going to shut the mouth of that lying lion. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, that we're able to lift our finances up to you. Father, we don't worship money, but we worship you. Hallelujah. We understand that the love of money is the root of all evil, but we love you first. We also understand, hallelujah, that money answereth all things. Money answereth all things. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we pray over our finances that you will begin to shut the lion. Hallelujah. Those bills, those responsibilities that's trying to seek and devour our finances. Hallelujah. That's trying to seek to devour our provision or bring financial strain upon our households. Father, shut the mouth of the lion. Shut the the lie the lion's mouth that lying lion's mouth, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have no financial strain. Ha makasoria bakai. Come on, begin to see yourself out of that rut. Begin to see yourself out of that. You you need to begin to see it. It shall spring forth. Can you not perceive it? Hallelujah. Do you not perceive the great things that the Lord is doing for you? Protect us, God. Protect us from any lack. Protect us from any theft. Come on, any theft, any demon that tries to come and steal from us. Father, you said if we catch the enemy stealing, he shall pay us back sevenfold. Come on, begin to take your hand off of the finances of God's people. Hallelujah, devil, you are a liar. You cannot claim anything that's un not yours. We come against financial instability. In the mighty name of Jesus, the big God begin to rebuke the devourer for our sake. You said in your word that you will rebuke the devourer for our sake. Every resource that you provided for us, God, begin to protect it. Begin to put a hedge of protection around it, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let no financial attack begin to prosper. Hallelujah. Begin to shut the mouth of that lying demon in the mighty name of Jesus. No financial attacks shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the wisdom, God, that we need to manage our, our finances. Give us the wisdom that's needed to manage our resources. Give us the wisdom that we need, Father, to be great stewards over the things that you blessed us with. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that you have entrusted into us, God, every resource, Father, that you have entrusted into us, God, give us the wisdom on how to steward it for you are our source come on we do not honor the resource we honor God who is our source father you are the source of every resource you are our source of every finance that we have that we need father you are our source in the mighty name of Jesus without you we have nothing without you we are nothing and so father we thank you that you are protecting us and there's, there's no financial attack against us, God. We declare and decree that we will walk in financial peace and financial freedom, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We will walk in financial abundance. Come on, I have an abundance of finances. Come on, begin to declare that in the mighty name of Jesus. I know that you are my provider. You meet every need, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your riches and your glory, you have no lack, Father. Everything that we need is in you. You are everything that we need. And so, Father, we put our trust in you. We put our eyes on you, the author and finisher of our faith. We put our eyes on you from where our help comes from. Father, we thank you. 
We thank you, Father, that you've heard every prayer. You've heard our hearts, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that we can stand in faith, believing you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus to release your angel. Hallelujah. To shut the mouth of every lion that tries to declare, that tries to come against us, that try to devour us, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Father, that we can rest in your protection, knowing that we are protected in we are covered, Father. We thank you, Father, for the hedge that you've placed around us. We thank you, Father, for angelic visitation. We thank you, Father, for angelic assistance, Father, that they take heed to your very word. And every word that we spoke was your word of God that came from your scripture, Father. And so we thank you that your word is true and your word works, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word do not return into your void. You are God that cannot lie. You will not lie. And so, Father, we entrust our prayers to you. We entrust our lives to you. We are trusting you, Father, to operate, to move in our life, God, to show up mighty in our life, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for keeping us safe from every attack. We thank you, Father, that this battle is not ours, but it belongs to you. We thank you that because you are on our side, who can stand against us? We thank you, Father, that we can walk in peace. And so we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise, Father, knowing that you are our rock, you are our defender, you are our buckler, you are our shield in the mighty name of Jesus. You are our defender. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, you guys be blessed. You guys be blessed. Know and understand that the Lord is shutting the mouth of every demonic force that tries to come against you and your destiny and the plans that he has for you. Hallelujah. Listen, um, Psalms 34 and 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Listen, stay in a reverence to God. The fear of the Lord is uh, an, an honor, a reverence, recognizing God to be present. That's all. That doesn't mean that you're shaking with fear and you're afraid. No, that's reverencing that he is always there, that he's in your presence. So what you need to do, the, this, listen, stand on the, meditate on this scripture. The angel of the Lord encamps, encamps about, around, like a shield, front, back, side to side. The angel of the Lord is encamped around you. For those who fear him, those who are reverencing God, those who knows that the Lord is there, those who recognize that God is there. You're moving according. You're not allowing the lies of the enemy to come and consume you and act inappropriately, pull you out of faith. Because we understand that without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you are not in faith, you are not pleasing God. The way that you please God is to remain in faith so that he can begin to show up in your life. Hallelujah. Don't be double-minded. Don't let the enemy pull you out of faith knowing that the Lord is going to show up. He's going to do it. It's already done. He is just walking you through the process. Listen, when he died on the cross, it is finished. It's already done. He's just walking you through the process. Hallelujah. So you continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Believe him at his every word, every written word, every spoken word. Come on, the God-inspired word. Get in this word. And what does the Lord say about it? This is how you're going to shut the mouth of the enemy. Hallelujah. Because the devil is a liar. Amen. Listen. Blessings. Blessings on you, Minister Abigail. Blessings on you, Valencia. Sister Valencia, blessings on you, Eldris Kim. Blessings on you, Sister Ro. Hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for joining. Blessings, Sister Rachel. Listen, tomorrow is Thursday. Bible study. 7615 Helmer Street. That's at the Mouth of God Ministry, 730. Meet us there. We'd love to have you. On Sundays, we have our um, Sunday service at 1030 a.m. at the Mouth of God Ministry, 7615 Helmer Street. We'd love to see you there. Listen, you guys be blessed. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.